See, I seen your stuff on social media. Boy, boy, I know you what you do, but you do it for play play. If you do it for real, here it is, Kevin. Bring yours however you want. And since you're not a puppet, don't bring no white people with you then. That's a $5 million bet individually. You can take it all. My frustration with Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? Cat Williams recently spoke about going up against Kevin Hart in a comedic versus battle, but he doesn't think the ride-along actor would be much competition. Cat has always been skeptical about Hart, telling his fans that the funny man is a Hollywood puppet and easily controlled, and he may as well be right, considering what has been happening in the Hart household lately. During a past radio interview with Persia Nicole, Cat Williams stated that verses originated from him. I started Versus, Williams said. The first Versus ever promoted was Steve Harvey versus Cat Williams. It was the underground kings of comedy Versus, so we don't need to ask me if I would have any interest in things that I was the originator of. Comedically beefing is my lane. The Friday After Next actor then listed his lengthy resume, which included numerous tours, movie roles, and television appearances. He also said that Richard Pryor would have been his only real competition, revealing that current comedians are nothing but a joke. Hart included. It's almost cheating for me, I have over 10 specials, Williams said, I don't have to pick but two jokes from each special, and I've already deaded anyone whose last name isn't prior anyway, we don't want to add 52 movies, we certainly don't want to add 11 specials, we certainly don't want to add 49 television appearances, we don't want to add an Emmy, it's almost a battle we can't really afford to be in, it probably don't match up the way you think it match up. But just a year earlier, Hart went off on Williams, telling him to stop blaming Hollywood for his problems. After Williams fired shots at Tiffany Haddish during an appearance on V103's Frank and Wanda show back in 2020, when he claimed fellow comedian and actress Tiffany Haddish was only successful because she wants to sleep with a white man, referring to her crush on Brad Pitt, Hart took to Haddish's defense. My frustration with Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? The comedian not only addressed Williams at the opening night of the Urban World Film Festival in New York City, but also continued his defense on The Breakfast Club a day later. Hart claimed that Williams, who recently earned an Emmy Award for guest starring on Atlanta, became a risk to studios when he began to indulge in drugs instead of focusing on work, adding that the comedian needs to fix himself before trying to come back into the industry. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work, Hart argued. And the Philadelphia-bred comedian didn't stop there. The night school star shouted out the women in the industry who have worked hard for their positions, but challenged Williams to use his platform to help up-and-coming talent. Have you ever used your platform to f king bring the people under you up? Hart asked. You haven't. So because you haven't, don't S on those who now are. Despite Hart's hard defense of Haddish, it seems Williams and Haddish have already sorted things out. At the Emmys that same year, the two were photographed together, but that doesn't mean Hart and Cat are cool. No, they aren't. However, unlike Williams, Hart has been in the headlines lately for all the wrong reasons. If you haven't heard, Hart is taking legal action over cheating allegations made by a former assistant in an interview with YouTuber Tasha K. Hart's complaint, filed in the Los Angeles Superior Court, centers on an online interview between his former personal assistant, Misha Shakes, and Latasha Kebe, aka Tasha K., both named as defendants in the lawsuit. Shakes worked for Hart's company from August 2017 to October 2020, according to the complaint. Published on Tasha's Instagram account and YouTube channel Unwind with Tasha K on December 22nd, the interview includes allegations from Shakes that Hart, 44, had an affair at his office. She also claimed she told Hart's wife Eniko he was cheating on her and that the comedian had a gambling problem. A preview from the conversation was captioned, the interview that Kevin Hart will wish never came out. Hart's complaint claims Tasha demanded money, threatening to release the bombshell interview if he didn't pay. In November, the document alleges someone affiliated with Tasha contacted a representative of Hart, informing them that the interview that would be damaging to Hart's reputation had been recorded. The individual stated that Tasha would publish the interview unless Hart paid a ransom of $250,000. Hart contacted the police and issued a cease and desist order to the YouTuber, asking that she not publish the interview, according to the lawsuit. 
It cited the NDA between Shakes and Hart, and that posting the interview would constitute intentional interference with contractual relations. Aside from violating the NDA, the interview, according to Hart's complaint, included false and defamatory statements regarding Hart and certain legal disputes in which he had been involved. The lawsuit added that Shakes made statements that were false, including that Hart recorded a video of a S. Ewell encounter and that he faced criminal charges regarding that supposed incident. Hart is suing all defendants for civil extortion, invasion of privacy, and public disclosure of private facts. Additionally, he's suing Shakes for breach of contract and defamation, and Tasha for intentional interference with contractual relations. KB has an established history of posting defamatory and otherwise improper content regarding celebrities, states Hart's lawsuit. The interviewer has also come under fire for airing allegations concerning Will Smith and Dwayne Martin, which Smith and his wife Jada Pinkett Smith publicly denied. Jada previously indicated they would be taking legal action over the inflammatory interview. In 2022, musician Cardi B won a libel case against YouTuber, whom the rapper accused of making malicious claims against her. Hart shares daughter Heaven 18 and son Hendrix 16 with ex-wife Torrey Hart. After divorcing Torrey in 2011, the award-winning actor married wife Eniko Hart, and they share a son, Kenzo, 6, and a daughter, Kaori, 3. The Jumanji actor issued a public apology in 2017 after he cheated on Eniko while she was eight months pregnant with their first child. At the time, he addressed the subsequent extortion attempts that took place and how his wife held him accountable. In his Netflix documentary series, Don't F It Up, Hart opened up about rebuilding his marriage with Eniko after the cheating scandal, calling it the lowest moment of my life, but Cat Williams is having none of that. If anything, Hart and Williams have never been on the best of terms. In fact, any chance of a reconciliation or collaboration seems to be over thanks to the way Williams ethered Hart in his comedy set back in 2016. During an Atlanta stop on his conspiracy theory tour, Williams called out Hart for being a Hollywood puppet. I've already proven that if the best they got in comedy is Kevin Hart, then don't you boo a black man working hard, baby. Even if that N a puppet, it's not his fault. We don't get mad, he ranted. Just because I'm better than some black dudes doesn't mean I'm better than no black dudes. I'm saying if you want to be mad at Kermit the Frog, don't be mad at Kermit the Front. Be mad at Jim Henson. Don't say F Donald Duck when you really mean F Walt Disney. He continued, I don't care about anything that happens to Kevin Hart. I just wish him the best. I just know that somebody's hand stuck up that baby, you understand? Oh, we're a puppet show, boo-boo. Please believe it. You're looking at the only end that ain't. Williams didn't stop there. He went on to throw shade at Hart's success. So since I've already officially proven to myself that I really am who Richard Pryor passed his torch to, and that I was able to do it without letting a man suck my D or sucking a man's D, he said, I walked in with a virgin a-hole. I walked out with a virgin a-hole. I got the same soul today that I had when I did Pimp Chronicles all the way to the end of Pimp Chronicles. So clearly there is something Hart is not telling the world, but Cat Williams has already decided to blow the smoke. His relationship scandals and him being a gatekeeper are not the only controversies Hart has faced in recent years. The comedian's controversy from 2018 continues to dominate the headlines. After being announced as the host of the 2019 Academy Awards, Hart publicly stepped down from the gig when a series of his old homophobic tweets resurfaced. Hart has since tried to address the issue in a series of statements, appearances, posts, and even a Netflix docuseries. And many of his moves have only fanned the flames further. So, what exactly happened? The tweets that kicked off this national conversation are from nearly a decade ago, when Hart made a number of jokes over the course of two years on his Twitter page about LGBTQ people. Some were aimed around his thoughts about how he would react to potentially having a gay son, in which the comedian said he would break a dollhouse over his head if he saw him play playing with it. They also included the actor calling a person's profile picture a gay billboard for AIDS. The jokes didn't go unnoticed at the time, but would become a much bigger problem for the star in the years to come, as his public profile and box office appeal increased exponentially. Hart's jokes were not simply limited to a few comments on Twitter. Some of his early stand-up material contained homophobic jokes, including his breakout 2010 comedy special Seriously Funny. In the special, the comic continued one of his previous jokes about his desire to prevent his son from becoming gay. In one bit, Hart said that he saw another boy grinding on his son, and in response he panicked and knocked them both down. While he started the joke by saying he was not homophobic, many have since claimed the bit was a classic example of homophobia.
Fast forward five years later, Hart became an international superstar, with far fewer incidents involving homophobic jokes during his time in the public eye. But when then, HitFix reporter Louis Vertel asked him if he felt the more innocuous but still stereotypical gay jokes in his film Get Hard were outdated, the actor backed himself up. I said to myself, this is funny, he said, and at the end of the day, funny is funny. After achieving massive success in the film and stand-up industries, Hart was profiled on the cover of Rolling Stone in 2015. In the interview, he was asked about past jokes about his son's first gay moment, and while the comedian said that he would not tell those same jokes today, he had a specific reasoning for it. I wouldn't tell that joke today because when I said it, the times weren't as sensitive as they are now, he said, making a reference to PC culture. I think we love to make big deals out of things that aren't necessarily big deals because we can. These things become public spectacles, so why set yourself up for failure? Then, in 2018, Hart posted an Instagram photo of the Oscar statue, revealing to his fans that he had been tapped as the show's 2019 host. I am blown away simply because this has been a goal on my list for a long time. To be able to join the legendary list of hosts that have graced that stage is unbelievable, he wrote. However, Hart and the Academy were almost immediately met with backlash. Within hours, Twitter users began reposting the star's former tweets and jokes, saying that because he had never apologized for his homophobic jokes, he should therefore not be allowed to host at the Oscars. After two days of online scrutiny, the actor finally broke his silence and posted a video to Instagram. In it, he explained that the Academy had delivered an ultimatum, publicly apologize for the tweets or step down. To the surprise of many, Hart refused to apologize. Apologize. I passed on the apology. I've addressed this several times. This is not the first time this has come up. I've addressed it. I've spoken on it. I've said where the rights and wrongs were, he said. So I just got a call from the Academy and um, that call basically said, Kevin, apologize for your tweets of old or we're going to have to move on and find another host. I'm talking about the tweets from 2009, 2010. I chose to pass. I passed on the apology. The reason why I passed is because I've addressed this several times. His statement only led to more online anger, and then sparked a debate over whether or not he owed the LGBTQ community an apology. Some of his fans claimed that he was right to put his foot down, saying that he shouldn't be expected to apologize over and over again. Critics, though, said they had yet to see evidence of any remorse for his comments at any point. Just one day after posting his Instagram statement, Hart officially announced on his Twitter that he would be stepping down from the event. I have made the choice to step down from hosting this year's Oscars. This is because I do not want to be a distraction on a night that should be celebrated by so many amazing talented artists," he wrote. The star added what he had said he would not do just a day before an apology. I sincerely apologize to the LGBTQ community for my insensitive words from my past. I am evolving and want to continue to do so. My goal is to bring people together, not tear us apart. In the month after Hart stepped down, public debate over his handling of the situation mostly died down as rumors swirled over who might replace him in the gig. That is, until he made an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where the outday host called his online critics haters and told him that she wanted him to reconsider hosting the event. Hart said he would take DeGeneres' suggestion into consideration. The appearance not only re-sparked the controversy, but also found DeGeneres receiving criticism from LGBTQ fans, telling her that she did not get to be the moral arbiter on behalf of the community. One of those critics was CNN's Don Lemon, who went on the air and criticized both Hart and DeGeneres for their handling of the situation. Apologizing and moving on does not make the world a better place for people who are gay or who are transgender, Lemon said. Being an ally does. The comedian decided to put the issue to bed once and for all during a segment on his Sirius XM radio program, Straight From The Heart, in January 2019. Speaking candidly about the controversy, Hart gave a fuller apology for his past actions. Once again, Kevin Hart apologizes for his remarks that hurt members of the LGBTQ community. I apologize, he began. Now we're in a space where I'm around people of the LGBTQ community, and I'm now aware of how these words make them feel, and why they say that S hurt because of what I've been through. I'm riding with you guys, I understand you. Though he did take a moment to add that he wanted the LGBTQ community to be more open to people changing. If you don't want to accept people for their change, then where are you trying to get to the equal part? Two days later, in an appearance on Good Morning America, Hart fielded questions from anchor Michael Strahan about the controversy, saying that he was finished having this conversation over and over again. I'm done with it. It gets no more energy from me, he told the host. There's no more conversation about it. 
When Strahan asked the actor if he had reconsidered hosting the Oscars, Hart said again that he was done. I'm not hosting the Oscars this year, he said. I don't want people to think there's a thing about me in the Academy because it isn't. Netizens are also taking on the funny man, with one posting. So I finished Kevin Hart's special on Netflix, and I think it actually paints him in a worse light than ever. From the way he treated his wife and friends to how he ignored his team about how to take action in regards to the homophobic jokes, it's not a good look for him. With another adding, Pride will ruin so many opportunities. Remember when Kevin Hart's homophobic tweets resurfaced, and he refused to apologize just to wind up apologizing anyway once he realized he wasn't going to be allowed to host the Oscars anymore? Should have just said sorry. Well, it seems Cat Williams is not the only person who has a problem with Hart, but what's his endgame? Only time will tell. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.